our main objective and our main task as humanity in this very historical moment, in order to keep our ecosystem on Earth alive and thereby our world civilization, is to overcome the engines of combustion and destruction of the current world financial and trade system with the help of the implemented global digital networking. I would like to give some further reflections, arguments which show a bit why we can't succeed in getting out of fossil energy as a larger part within the next few years keeping our world financial and trade systems, as no other of the big problems can be solved. Of this amount of 280 trillion US dollars, as the global sum of investments, assets and shareholdings of the big banks and asset management firms in this world, about 90% is in conservative investment models, closely linked in the most profitable business models, including especially oil, gas and coal, because they guarantee stability and the most of the profit. No one of the big, often nationally bound investment trusts or banks can deduct their shares within these very few years which are left, in investments which don't bring the same amount of profit. No one is allowed to step back or the competitor could gain advantages in order to determine the rules. Here to mention are especially countries like the USA, Russia, countries of the Middle East, or even smaller countries like Venezuela, Ukraine, etc. Depending on these huge revenues by oil and gas, Europe or China would maybe get advantages, if the other leading countries would have to pay a tax, carbon price, etc., or are cut off these revenues. Also, these finances can't be transferred in other, less profitable investment models without that the whole system could even crash, as it did almost crash already in connection with real estate investments in 2008. Furthermore, these transfers or taxations, divestments, etc. could only be implemented globally and simultaneously, but would interfere deeply in global power relations, such that numerous countries economically depending on fossil fuels, like the already mentioned United States of America, Russia, countries of the Middle East, etc. can't and won't participate. These countries, all connected companies and financial institutes would have to be compensated for their loss of income ongoing. Who would pay, how much and how long for each of them? Finally there is only this solution left to keep our ecosystem alive. A currency and trade-free one world society. Coincidentally, we have a much better tool as an organizational tool for mankind, for our world population the implemented global digital network, which is a much better device than currency and trade systems are. Considered on its own, digital networking has much greater power as an organizational tool than any type of monetary system ever had. Technologically we could switch them off and transfer our world organization, which is now running mainly using currency and trade systems simultaneously as the driving engine, immediately onto their four prepared computer systemic global networking, or within only a few months of preparation in order to transfer it at a specific date. The only thing missing is the consciousness, the conviction and the will of the world population, if this would be the case, we could go out of all kinds of money and trade systems, of this world financial system, while creating a one world society, keeping all kinds of regional cultures, traditions, religions, languages and so on. Now, since the whole world has to fight a survival battle, which can only be won united, it's even essential to get the awareness and the will to overcome our current organizational system. Maintaining the contemporary world financial and trade system, with all the inherent forces of competition, conflicts and concentration, we don't have any chance to keep our life world alive. We are forced to do this step forward in human history. Therefore, we have to initiate and create a chain reaction towards this solution approach. That in all countries, about 190, 
compressed to 150 considering smaller populations, or in 150 regions in this world, that in each of them people or groups would start to activate 150 people of whom each of them might win 150 others and once again each one finds 150. This amount of people, convinced and activated for this idea, would be sufficient, in India and China maybe a bit more, eventually about 500 to 700 million residents all around the world. Including that in the meantime all kinds of organizations, NGOs, movements, parties, campaigns, networks, conventional and web media, personalities, scientists, politicians, artists and starlets, etc. would start to speak about, overtake or spread this idea. Altogether we might initiate a new time era on this planet within the next few years. Maybe you want to become one of these 150, to spread this idea, an idea whose time has come, and to start discussions about by yourself or yourselves and in your own way. Eventually everyone becomes one of these 150, that we stand together as one Earth population facing the climate crisis, as to resolve all the other problems of our time. Finally, for this we have to build a global internet platform, for example networking currency and trade free one world society, or another name, with the only aim to initiate a world referendum for the shutdown of all currency and trade systems the monetary world system, at a defined time, and to transfer the world organization onto global networks and networkings prepared for it. A platform for all people on this world, which connects all organizations, movements, parties, groupings, religious groups, public figures, ordinary people globally. It's a big thing and it sounds far, but time is running out. There is no other way than to focus on that, to build awareness, the global consciousness in this direction. We are forced to make this decision now, on what we, everybody of us in this world, focus on as the main objective, or it doesn't count anymore, because it's too late to interfere effectively halting an ecological breakdown. There is no other way than that each one of us, no matter in which position, in which region of this world, must become a part of a chain reaction towards this final destination. That we have to change not only our way of living, to do a paradigm shift, whose effects, in case being universally accepted and successful against the enormous influences of omnipresent and permanent advertising and other media distractions, couldn't be absorbed by labor markets and social systems, but also our way of organization, similar to times when the first monetary systems were introduced a couple of thousand years ago. Because societies did increase that much that barter economies were not appropriate anymore. Now the currency and trade systems are not appropriate anymore to solve any of the big problems in this world. The environmental and climate crisis heading towards an ecological breakdown of the world's current ecosystem, the crisis of international conflicts about declining raw materials and resources, especially oil and gas, of trade conflicts and most destructive wars, the social crises, from starvation to working poor, the crisis of worldwide refugee movements and coming population displacements, consequences of overexploitation, overconsumption, abundance and wasting, for future generations. Soon strong impacts of increasing automation, etc. etc. Even though now, as it was this big advantage having a period of monetary systems, that it was a tool helping that finally the whole earth population did grow together in a certain way, did intertwine the world, even if at the same time did create circumstances of concentration, competition and discords, appearing for example as nationalism, religious fundamentalism, racism, different kind of social battles, etc., now that the whole world is that much related and interdependent, we have to make this step forward in human history as a common international simultaneous step, 
to transfer the world's currency and trade system onto their four prepared global networking, computer systemically decentralized and open source, to a specific date. Unfortunately, it's a matter of survival in a race against time. It's time for a currency and trade-free one world society. Let's do it. Protect the planet. Rise for climate, rise up for a currency and trade-free one world society.